So this is what I am calling Pillar. This is a sequencer uh, for the Teletype built uh, with GridOps. Uh, currently running Teletype firmware version 2.3 RC3. Um, so uh, we've got two different kinds of sequencers here. Um, up on the left, we've got kind of a note sequencer, which is uh, a turtle based sequencer. And then uh, here in the middle, we've got a couple Euclidean trigger sequencers. Uh, so just going to walk you through how all this works. Um, we'll start with the trigger sequencers. So here on the second one, um, I've got a kick drum coming off of the ER301 sound computer. Um, faders on the bottom here, we've got, uh, and these all go from 0 up through 15. Um, we've got, uh, on the bottom we've got length, the middle here is offset, and this is um, the fill. So. <clears throat> they go to 0 to 15. Currently, we've got a, a fifth, uh, sorry, a, an 8 length. Um, so if we turn the fill up to something like uh, 2, you should start to hear something. Um, here on the first trigger, um, I've got this hooked up to uh, kind of a hi-hat sound on the ER301. Um, so we've got here again uh, an 8 loop length. Um, if I set that just gonna hold down and set this to the same. Wrong one. Or we can take that down to something like five. Get a little bit more of a straight rhythm. Um, the tempo control is hooked up to the uh, parameter knob and you can actually view it down here on D, um, currently set to 115. So we can roll that back to something 98. Um, and you're getting a pulse out here on uh, the TR4 um, every 16th note so that you can, uh, you know, <clears throat> um, synchronize some other device. All right, uh, next let's talk about the note sequencer. Um, so it's currently running, but I've got it muted over here on the ER301, so let me just, uh, let me turn that on. Okay, so um, the note sequencer is uh, kind of a turtle here, right? Um, and you don't have any control over where the turtle goes. Uh, it just goes where it wants to. It takes one step in any direction, or it may stay in the same place, um, and it can wrap around, uh, you know, the sides. Um, but what you can control is um, each of these tiles um, has four parameters over here, and we'll go over what they are. Um, and when it hits that tile, it, it does something based on these parameters. Um, so the first one on the top here is um, the note. So let's just change a couple of these. So to, to see what they are, you just hold down any of these, um, or press any of these tiles here, and it'll show you what the current values are. So let's maybe take these corners and, and set these up to the uh, top note value. So I'll just hold them down and set the fader I want to set. parameter here is um, the probability that a trigger will fire when it hits that. Um, you adjust these all the same way, so we'll just go ahead and turn down the uh, trigger probability on a couple of them. Um, I should probably point out that the, the scale, so um, when you set these notes, like we set this one up, we set this up to be the, uh, the eighth note. The scale is actually uh, contained in one of the patterns, so you can edit that um, either with the keyboard or you can use the uh, the new grid integration. Um, so I'm going to use the new grid integration. So we'll just pop over there for a second and uh, flip into pattern view. And um, <clears throat> so this is my default setup with a major scale. Um, so let's let's make this a uh, let's take the seventh note there and change that to kind of a a, a flat note, a B flat. Um, let's see here. So we'll go. Gonna be this guy. There we go. So we'll set that to ten. Hey, yeah, we heard one. Um, <clears throat> the next fader uh, controls. Um, uh, let's see what are we calling it here? Linger. Um, so that basically the 
when it hits that tile, that's the, the number of clock cycles that it's gonna wait before it tries to move again. So let's, um, let's set a couple of those too. parameter here is for the uh, gate duration. So um, we'll change a couple of this so you can see what those do. That's just going to kind of hold the note out longer when it lands on it. sustain on my uh, on my envelope here is why we're not really hearing the difference there we go and I think that's the whole thing in a nutshell so um, thanks for watching take care